I'm just amusing myself here by thinking if I was Prime Minister, I'd make a fucking good one, but there'd be one or two things that would be questioned by y'all, so, um, anyone that knows me by now knows that I'm joking here, really, but in an ideal world, this is the things that I would do. I would, um, uh, what would I do? First thing I'd do is... Um, all this fucking nonsense about Sainsbury's is open at 8 but you can't get a beer till 9. Tesco's is open at 6 but you can't get a beer till 7. If you're fucking open then sell beer you stupid cunt. So for all you poor fucks out there that want a beer at 7am and are dying for one and have to wait till 8. No more of that bullshit. Um, I know this is all hypothetical of money and shit but yeah this is just the things I would do in theory. Another thing I would do and this might make you laugh, but I want you to know that I'm obviously half serious here. <laughs> half serious. Women are not allowed to settle down or get married until at least the age of 30. <clears throat> That's the way it's got to be, mate. You've got to sow your oats, whether you like it or not. Or you can just wait for that special man. But yeah, I can't be doing this scene. 22 year old women walking down the road with. Buggies and babies, man. Oof. So that's out, mate. You're not allowed to do that shit until you're at least 30. Um, some of you will be dying with laughter now. Some of you will be thinking this cunt's a sick cunt. But I am clearly having a giggle. But you know what I mean. I, I, oh, women, man. It's such a waste. Such a waste. And I can't believe they stay together, man, forever. Like the fucking granddads of like hundred years ago, I guarantee that bird must need a different dick at some point. Cannot be married with kids in your early twenties and never fucking do nothing else, man. I guess it does happen, but I just don't go anyway. Going off the point, I do some really cool shit, man. I just take away all the nonsense and replace it with common sense, and there you've got your fucking government. Um, but yeah, they just make such stupid decisions. And also, I'd bring back the fucking gold pack for B&H. The fucking white and purple for silk cut. The Marlboro red and thingy. What is with making them all look the same? Well, what it does is break my balls. I used to work in fucking Sainsbury's. And 50,000 different types of backy with all these fucking stupid names. It's like new sweets. Double jewel suck cunt and fucking... Mint flavoured, oh for God's sake Marlene, what happened to fucking four brands and a fucking Hamlet mate? Ah, fucking crazy world. And yeah, I'd make, I'd make, I'd bring Drew boxes back for sure. So people could play fucking whatever music they want rather than sitting there listening to cunts chat and fucking crap music. So yeah, all in all, I can you be pretty happy with me mate. Um, let's say the women not allowed to sit down to your 30. I reckon a lot of you women will be like, that like, that's son, like fun time with me, mate. A lot of you crazy feminists want me dead and can't tell that I'm sort of joking. But anyway, I'm having a giggle. But yeah, I wish women didn't sit down so young. It's not fair on men. It's really not. <laughs>